Hi, and welcome to our next tutorial. Um, we got an email asking us about noise reduction and some of the techniques that um, we use to reduce noise in an image. So this email was sent in uh, with a series of pictures. Um, so we're going to go through, uh, right now we're in Adobe Lightroom uh, version 4, and we're going to use a software. It's a Nike software. Uh, it's called Define 2.0. Uh, to show you how to do some noise reduction in an image. Um, it will help you save some images that um, may not be uh, quite as clear as you'd like. Um, so this is a perfect example on uh, what we would do. Uh, we take a look at a, a series of images here. Uh, if we zoom into the the image, you can see there's a lot of pixelation in the image. Um, so we're going to clean this up. Uh, we're not going to use the luminous lighter in Lightroom till later on, but we're just going to leave it just like it is out of the camera. Um, so uh, what we're going to do is, um, in the email, um, they used a series of three photos. Uh, you can see up here it was taken with a Nikon D7000 camera. Uh, shutter speed is at 1 320th of a second at f22. ISO 1000. Um, these three photos that we're going to be doing here to show you how to reduce the noise, um, it appears what they're trying to do is they're trying to take an HDR photo and they got a little bit too much noise in the image. So uh, first things first, we're going to take a look at uh, one is your ISO settings. Um, in your email, uh, you said that uh, you did use a tripod. I do not see anything moving in the picture, so therefore you're not going to have a lot of ghosting effects. Um, but where your first problem here was, um, for us, what I would have done is the ISO at 1000 is a little bit too high. Um, if you're using a tripod, you, know, you can slow the shutter speed down. Um, use your ISO at, a, at 100. will take out the pixelations or reduce some of the pixelations that you get when you're uh, taking an HDR image. So what we're going to do... Um, just like I said, we're going to use the software. I'm not going to do any adjustments in Lightroom just yet at all. But I'm going to right click on the image and I'm going to send it over to Define 2.0, uh, which is a Nike software for noise reduction. Uh, this will help out uh, images like this where you have um, either forgot to change the ISO of the camera or the ISO is just set wrong. So the first window we get here, um, it's what we want to do. Uh, we're just going to edit a copy with a Lightroom adjustment. Even though we have made no adjustments in Lightroom, we're just going to move this image over into uh, the plugin for Light, uh, Lightroom, which is the Define 2.0. So once it moves it over there, um, we'll be able to zoom in, uh, take a look at how to fix this picture, and then we'll be able to come back to show you the difference between the two images and how sometimes the plugins are actually better than what Lightroom does by itself. So now that we're in uh, Define 2.0, first thing it's going to do is open up the image and then on the bottom right hand side over here under the loop view, you can see what the image looks like. Um, and as it analyzes it, it's going to come up and give us these boxes. Uh, and then this is where it's actually picking up the area in which it, it's automatically determining that needs to be um, fixed. So if you look down in the bottom right-hand corner under the loop view, you can see a before and after with almost applying no image uh, whatsoever. So uh, this will work really well in this particular photo. So what we're going to do is um, we have two methods in which to use, either automatic or manual. I'm just going to use the automatic, um, leave it just as it is, and hit the reduce button. So the next thing you come up with is you have two options. Now, if you're using this plugin for Photoshop, you'll have three options. Uh, you can do the whole photo, uh, control points, or color ranges. So in Lightroom, um, for whatever reason, it does not come up with the whole photo, even though it will do it. So we're just going to use the control points here. We're going to leave the, the contrast noise at 100, the color noise at 100. And you can turn these up if you want to. Uh, we'll help clear up the image just slightly even more. 
Um, but for this video, we're just going to keep it right where it was at, uh, which was the, the the 100 on it. Here's the control points. You can add a control point um, if you're going to do it the other way. For this image, it's like I said, the whole image is actually uh, pixelated, so we're going to just use it like it is. And then once it's done, um, which is really all we're going to do is just click on the, the, the reduce and control points and hit save. So now what it's going to do is it's going to import it back into Lightroom so we can take a look at the images side by side. Um, when you're doing HDR, um, you know, it's, you're going to get a lot of pixelations or they, what's called noise um, in the underexposed images quite a bit. So that when you try to create the HDR here, you're getting a very blurry or a very pixelated bright images uh, because of the, the noise in the background. So I have found that Define works really well at doing some cleanup of an image, you know, without having to do a whole lot of steps. So now you can see down here, uh, it's brought in the second image, the one that we now just did the touch up on. So if we zoom into the image, we'll just zoom in right here above the cloud. So we, we can get a good view of it. So this is now what the image looks like after we have used the Nike software, the Define 2.0. And this is the original image right out of your camera. And you're going to see there's a world of difference between the two already. Um, you know, like I said, the, the biggest problem you had when you did this image was the ISO setting, I'm sure. Uh, the sunset is actually really nice. The, the clouds will actually give you some texture. But, you know, the ISO is, is, was just set too high. So you're getting a lot of blur in your image due to the ISO. So this is the image now after we have applied the software. And I'm reading this off of an external drive. Um, so it does take it a little bit longer to render the image, but you know if you're doing this off of your hard drive, it happens very quickly. So you can see how much difference there are in the two images. Okay. So what we can do now is zoom out in here. Now we can go over into the adjustment panel uh, in Lightroom, and under the noise reduction, we can now just use the lumen slider to just take out just this little bit left of what we've got in here. So if we pull the lumen slider up to say between 40 and 50, it's going to just about disappear. We're going to take the uh, detail, drag it up to, oh, I would say about 85. I'll keep it at this image, about 85. And then that's really all you have to do. Um, you click back to the full view of the image, and now you have your clear image. So what you'd have to do, um, being that the ISO on all three pictures were at ISO 1000, you'd have to apply that filter to all three images, then export them out into the software that you're using to uh, create your HDR, whether it's Photoshop. Um, the real popular one out there is, uh, you know, there's a, what is it, um, Photomatix Pro is a really good software that a lot of professional photographers use. Um, you have Dynamic HDR um, Photo, was another one that's being used. So there's a, there's about 10 really good software programs. But um, if you try to, to create your HDR with a lot of noise in the image, you're, you're going to struggle a little bit and not have the result you're looking for. So I hope this helps. It's a very simple walkthrough to, to remove the noise from your images. Um, so if you have any questions on this video or any other videos that we've done, just drop us a comment. And we'll get back to you as quickly as we can. Uh, or if you have other pictures or that you're having trouble with, uh, you'd like for us to take a look at it, uh, you know, let us know. Send us the images and we'll uh, make a video of your images so you can walk through and, and work on your own images with us so we can get them cleaned up for you. So thank you very much for watching. Um, like I said, leave us a comment. Uh, I hope this helps. And if you have any questions, let us know. Thank you.